Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, this will be a couple days old, but, you know, but uh, today is uh, Friday, and this is coming out on Monday, so, like, very close. Yo, yo. Uh, a man set himself on fire near the Trump trial courthouse today in New York City. Bro, again? No, the other guy was uh the other guy was a navy guy, anti-war guy. Either way, man, it's still like a trend of Americans setting themselves on fire. Yeah, that's not a trend that I'm about, by the way. It's not something that you usually see from Americans. Yeah, well, we were like eat McDonald's. We ain't gonna set ourselves on fire for something. What was what was the reason that he so, decided to do it? This guy, I didn't, I like it happened today, and like I, you know, I, I, uh, I didn't have a chance to read the, you know, truth not facts here for the Crazy Town podcast. Um, so he wrote. Are you familiar with Substack at all? No, what, it's what, a, um, what it's like that? an online platform where you can like put information. Okay. So he had a Substack. It's I guess. like a forum. It's it's like kind of like a Telegram or something like that. Like you know te- the app Telegram. Heard about that. Yeah, there's a lot of like illegal erotica being yeah, produced over there. Yeah, it's 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 a new thing. It's I you, I've heard people talk about like posting like information. I don't know exactly how it works or a form. Of, I don't know. I, I haven't dabbled with it. A lot of scammers on Telegram. Yeah, I mean, this is more Substack is more informational based. I guess I don't know. I'll Fair enough. Either way. Either way. Um, and like so, his name was I don't know Alex. I think Alex something. And he was taught. He wrote like a kind of like a manifesto-ish thing not super long but talking about how like uh the government is like everything's being propped up on the financial markets and like things mm-hmm. are gonna happen and like you know here's a warning we need to start a revolution mm. uh, you know yada yada mm. and uh his way of doing that was setting himself on fire in front of uh not in front of close it just says near i don't know how near it was um, I think he survived, but he might, um, you know, he might die later because, you know, if you have bur- that many burns, like, it can take a couple days and then you die. You know so I mean? when we say we need to start a revolution and we, you know, uh, the government is money and whatever, whatever is was in the manifesto, was this guy doing it? because of trump or was he doing it against trump? i don't know he where chose the symbolism the, of trump i mean obviously he chose a location for a reason because there was a prominent political figure that was supposed to be there so i assume that he did it with that particular venue in mind so yeah it would have been better if i read more about it absolutely <laughs> i mean i'm not i'm not denying that <laughs> All I know is a man set himself on fire. Fair, man. Fair. And that's, yeah, that's crazy. I read some <laughs> about it. I didn't have much Yo, time to prepare. No, today. it's fair. It's a, it's a fresh story. He's not even wrong. That's um, crazy. And, uh, You're but, not wrong. but uh, You're not you know, wrong. he said like, you know, the pain. You know, he said, "I'm sorry for causing my relatives and everything pain, but the pain of this is going to be nothing compared to what the pain the government brings down on you or whatever." Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean. Okay, we talked about this with like the Navy guy who set himself on fire, you yeah. know, a little bit ago. Yeah, I wish I was that passionate about anything. Yeah, I'm not. No, I don't. Um, I don't want to burn either. myself alive. I, that- it, it's it's the whole fact that I see this as a trend now is it's really disheartening. It, it just it, it leads to the fact is like that people is it natural the- selection. I'm not not going that path with it, Jonas. Okay, I'm, I'm just curious. So, yeah, it's cool. Um, it, it it makes me think that people are truly unhappy with the way that this country is being run to an extent that maybe I'm not. I'm just not familiar with. Maybe I'm. I feel like I feel like me and you both are to a certain extent detached from the issues enough because I mean, you don't really. Uh, you don't really participate in it you don't watch any political news no i mean i keep, I try to keep abreast of like what's happening in the world like a, a general surface level version yeah well I don't, so you you iceberg effect so you you watching icebergs on the surface but yeah I don't there's a tell, lot going on underneath okay he, here's my he, here's my my mindset about it yeah 
if there's a lot of bad things going on in the world, am I happy about them? No. There's wars, there's injustice, there's inequities, there's racism. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff going on in the world. And like as a regular person who has to work a normal job, surprise, surprise, this isn't my main source of income, you, you have to make a decision. You can either understand those things are going on and like accept that that's the reality or you can try to change it and do something about it. Sitting and like fuming over it all the time and letting it live all of it rent, live rent free in your head is the most unhealthy way to just drive yourself insane. Because like I could sit here and be like, God, I'm really pissed off that there's a war going on and like I wish that wasn't happening and just think about it and get all riled up about it. Or I can be like, there's a war going on. It sucks. I personally can't do anything about it, but I know that it sucks. And like, I, I feel the pain for those people, but like, what else can I do? So blissful ignorance. I mean, do you subscribe to blissful ignorance? No, because like, I'm aware it's going on. Like I like I You're try aware to keep it's going on, but you don't know enough to make a. a I any, can't. What any. am I? What is? What am I? Some random dude in Austin who works a full time job gonna do about a war in the Middle East? What am I gonna do about it? That's the same thing that this guy felt before he decided to do what he did. That he decided to take action. Good for him. I'm not taking action like that. I will say is that I. I have subscribed to blissful ignorance and I feel like the majority of the, uh, of the American public have, um, I don't choose to educate myself enough on the subject because I do feel we feel powerless is essentially right. what it is. Yeah. I feel powerless to being able to do anything. Now there's the people who like when Joe Biden makes a speech, they'll stand up like every speech that he's had over the past couple of months have been interrupted by protesters who are like, uh, or Congress I, people, or I wouldn't say pro Palestine, but they're, they're definitely pro stopping, stopping the altercation that's happening over right, there. Right. Right. And I'll admit that I don't know enough about it to uh, lean on either side. Like I tend to lean towards the side of the people who are being bombed every day and who can't, you know, who, who are showing like no signs of fighting back really. Um, I tend to lean towards that and being like, all right, they're not really even fighting back. You might want to like stop, but I don't even, I don't know enough. I don't. So I don't even think that you're wrong in subscribing to blissful ignorance because I feel like I have as well, but it does like hearing it come out of your mouth made me feel defeatist as hell. It, yeah, made, it, it sounded, it sounded like it was like, oh, there's nothing I can do about it. So I guess I'll just live my, my normal life here and, you know, eat freaking sushi and and caviar and... i don't eat caviar <laughs> <laughs> but it's like but here's the thing i know people you know who are in people. the same position as me and they just like stew about it all day and just want to talk about it but not they don't still don't do anything it just they it riles them up they want to they want to like just talk about it like speaking speaking about things is essentially trying to educate other people to be a part of the resistance. If things ever did go one way or the other and you needed people to be on your side, I, I feel like advertisement is is a, is a, is effective. Advertisement is effective. Now, I don't want to hear that shit either anymore than you do. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want to talk about politics, man. Like, no, I don't. No, I, man, I'm good. Like, I want to know what's happening. No, you don't. I do. No. I want to know. No, you don't. All right, I guess I don't want to know. If you wanted to know, it ain't hiding from you. The information ain't hiding. I'm reading about it. I read enough, but, no, but I don't you, you get the information for this video. When was I supposed to find out then about tell the Tell me boy? about the altercation. Educate me then, because I'll about admit what? that I've not, I've not looked for any information because I've had no interest in What altercation? In it. The altercation in uh, Israel. Tell me about what's it's going, going on. on, and that's what I know. <laughs> You, you said that you want to know the information, yet you know none of the, the information. The iceberg, bro. That I know. I know. I want to know the tip. I want to know enough. So if somebody All right, says, Jonas, "I want to be a doctor," okay, do you believe me? No. Okay. Why? Because I've made none of the steps 
to become a doctor. I mean, I've not taken one college course. Well, I probably have. I was took some say, prerequisites, wait a most likely. Most that was likely, a bad I've taken example, some prerequisites. But, I get you. Yeah, yeah. but I've done none of the work to become a doctor. Never one day in my life have I been like, you know what, Jones? How is that a comparison to what today? I was talking about, though? Because you said you wanted to know information about about what's going on over there. Yeah. You want to know, but yet you also said in the same conversation that you don't like it when coworkers talk about it, and yet you have no information. When I'm asking you right now, what's going? on i don't know the listeners at home might not know yeah but i know how doctors work <laughs> like i don't need to, <laughs> i don't need to know yeah, like i know how the war works two sides is fighting exactly that's and that's and know. that's all i need to know if you don't want to you don't want to know any more about the war any more than i want to be a doctor okay yeah, then but, the but, defense rests you you use completely unaligned topics to all fight I'm a point is, that doesn't even make sense. All I'm saying is that you said you want to know about the, you want to know about the altercation. You want to know about what's going on over there. So I just want to know so you can general. pick the right side. I, I never said that. Don't I you want to know? Don't you want to be on the right I side don't of history? I need to pick a side. I think war is stupid regardless. Yeah, but in, in, the, in the case of the uh, Russian-Ukraine war, you picked a side. Did I? A hundred percent. Are you telling me you was putting Z's on your car, motherfucker? I don't I think so. We just, okay, later then. this week, okay, go then. watch some Zelda videos. You're going to hear my new name. If you, put, if you start putting Z's on your car, we're going to have a long conversation. <laughs> so the defense rests there. And you took a, <laughs> so you have to take a side in, in these things you. because, because you, you know that one side is uh, essentially in the wrong in most wars. And I feel like America was in the, in the wrong on a, on, in a few of the wars that it's taken against uh, other peoples so you you don't never want to be rooting for the guy or even like turn a blind eye to the atrocities of one side you want to be on the right side of history and i feel like and that's that's where the uh the, the dichotomy that people are having right now they don't know where the right side of history devil's is. advocating you Go the ahead. people who were rooting for nazi germany thought they were on the right side 100 percent. and then when it comes down to it they find out they're on the wrong side of history so that's why you have to educate yourself so that you're not on the wrong side of history those people were not educated because they were under the administration that was leading them in the wrong direction. We may be under that same administration right now. God so damn, education Joey. is the key to knowing. And I will admit to my own ignorance, but I need you to admit to yours. I well. have it. Okay. I oh, I, I never said I was smart. I said so, I know enough. <laughs> when it comes down to it, we don't know what the hell we're talking about. No, man, we just two guys. <laughs> But I think it's a tragedy that that guy decided to do yeah, this. Yeah, don't set yourself on fire, man. I and mean, that's that's why I say is that I I just don't I don't know enough about it to make a to make a real comment on it. I don't I don't I don't know what it, the fact that it's happening makes me think is that there is more to the story. There's got to be more. He he believed that he needed to do it to show make a point to bring awareness to what he felt was going on. Yeah. You know what the, the hardest thing about it, Jonas? The yeah, hardest thing. What's that? The hardest thing is that I know that if I was like, all right, fine, I'm gonna educate myself on the war in Israel. All right, and I, yeah, I did it with that voice. You gonna go fight over there, then? I'm gonna look up one video, and my algorithm is gonna be absolutely just fudged for like a month and a half. Do it on v on a uh, private mode. Uh... But it's difficult. You got to open up your spam YouTube account and where you watch stuff you don't normally watch. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm going to load up the channel. Uh, oh, God. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Just be like do it on that. videos <laughs> popping up. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Well, this guy have a midriff shirt on. TNT. I know. I was like, what the hell's happening? Uh, we got...